It's not difficult to remember how cancer chemotherapy works with the cell cycle. I'll show you. What should cells do to grow and repair themselves? Picture the cells in our body make copies of themselves to grow to repair themselves. Each cell has full set of DNA. First, it replicates its DNA for a cell to divide and share its DNA equally with daughter cell. Making this DNA copy needs specific ingredients such as purines, pyrimidines, and folate. Now, envision a disruption. Block these vital processes that cells cannot make their copies. That's where cancer medicine comes in. Let's think about how cancer chemotherapy works with cell growth. Enter antimetabolites, a class of drugs that disrupt DNA synthesis. One standard example is 5-FU, also known as fluid uracil. Its molecular structure closely mimics that of uracil. Think of it as a crafty imposter. Cells mistakenly incorporate 5-FU, disrupting their vital processes. Because 5-FU is not a perfect match, it hampers the functionality of DNA and RNA, and you know the result, impaired cell function and survival. It also inhibits DNA synthesis by engaging with a pivotal enzyme. Antimetabolites interfere with the DNA synthesis in S phase of cell cycle. What exactly is topoisomerase? Topoisomerase is an enzyme responsible for preventing DNA from getting tangled, as well as relieving pressure in supercolloid DNA during DNA replication. If topoisomerase doesn't function properly, cells mostly stop during the S phase because their DNA gets tangled, disrupting the replication process. Additionally, Cells pause in the G2M phase, making it hard to separate DNA strands properly during this confusion. Consequently, inhibitors targeting topoisomerase work during the S phase and the G2 phase of cell cycle. Plant alkaloids like pink alkaloids step in and block cell division during the M phase, a critical part of cell division. Pink alkaloids interact with microtubules, crucial structures responsible for organizing and segregating chromosomes during cell division. Plant alkaloids disrupt the microtubule function, thereby impeding the precise separation of chromosomes. Plant alkaloids like pink alkaloids step in and block cell division during the M phase. Alkylating agent and anti-tumor antibiotics exert their cytotoxic effects by inducing direct DNA damage. Alkylating agent form covalent bonds with DNA bases, leading to the formation of cross-links within the DNA structure. This alkylation process results in the misreading of the DNA code and the inhibition of DNA. RNA and the protein synthesis and the precipitates cell death. Platinum and nitrous foliars also function as alkylating agents. Anti-tumor antibiotics operate by inducing DNA damage in the cells, thereby inhibiting their proliferation. For example, doxorubicin intercalate between neighboring DNA base pairs. Additionally, it disrupts topoisomerase to mediated DNA repair. Alkylating agent and anti-tumor antibiotics exert their cytotoxic effects by inducing direct DNA damage. How does cancer chemotherapy affect cell cycle? Cancer is a disease caused by an uncontrolled division of abnormal cells in a part of the body. Antimetabolite and topoisomerase inhibitor blocks DNA synthesis. Compounds such as vincristine, 
venblastin, and paclitaxel function as inhibitors of microtubules, disrupting the process of cell division known as mitosis. Alkylating agent and anti-tumor antibiotics cause direct damage to DNA, classifying them as non-cell cycle-specific agents due to their broad impact on cells throughout various stages of the cell cycle. Interestingly, bleomycin, while categorized as an anti-tumor antibiotic, demonstrates selectivity by exerting toxicity primarily on cells in the M and G2 phase of the cell cycle. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button.